distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It has been 35 days since the outbreak of the most horrendous war yet of the 21st century, running its course before our eyes in Israel and Palestine. Over 20 months of bombardments have passed since Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022. The year before that, the coup of the, in February 2021 in Myanmar. And long before this crisis, in many parts of the world, occupiers lording it over other people, regimes using violence against their own. More than 10,500, 11,000 people have been killed in Gaza, 1,200 in Israel, almost half children. Hundreds of thousands have been forcibly displaced. In the West Bank, the killings are alarmingly spiking up. In Ukraine, the death toll has reached 9,614 civilian, civilians, who twice that number endured over the course of 19 months. Since Myanmar plunged in a civil war with many months, an average of 130 civilians every day have reportedly been killed by junta, airstrikes, shelling, gunfire, etc. I thank the Ramon Magsaysay Foundation for giving me this platform to raise my voice of concern, to draw attention to the desperate need for us to wake up and to push finding resolutions to these nightmares to affirm that might is not right. The Ramon Magsaysay Awards and its Transforming Leadership Program, with its motto on the greatness of spirit, however, is not a platform of gloom. On the contrary, it is a platform to spread the message of hope. Hope a beautiful four-letter word pregnant with life's meaning. Hope that we find in the stories of efforts that have paved ways out of large-scale, long-standing political violence. Through stories such as our Bangsamoro peace process, not a perfect process nor agreement, a very slow one, 17 years of talks, and by now, nine and a half years of unfinished implementation. Still an example that bidding for peace through political negotiations can still produce comprehensive peace agreements, a scarcity nowadays. An example that through collaborative action and committed partnerships, a peace agreement can be sustained and the governance infrastructure for meaningful autonomy, a reordering of the relationship between the national state and the sub-state created, not only to give life to the principles of the right to self-determination, but also to engender more democratic, responsive, participatory politics within and among the Bank Samoro. Of course, we know that this process will take time. It has to prevail over both conservative and extremist mindsets. It must consequently remove the guns from politics and everyday life. Most important, it has to tame the unruly behavior of the political class and eventually produce transformative leaderships in the next batches of leaders to come. I thank the Ramon Magsaysay Foundation, its board of trustees, past and present, partners, and all of those awardees who came before the four of us here because they are what the foundation is all about. I thank you for this encouragement to promote the stories of courageous women and men who never tired in building peace every day, everywhere, for every person, one step at a time through peace and human rights education, mediation, humanitarian work, campaigns, and so on, in every imaginable and yet to be imagined ways. A good representation of them are here with us, by the way, 
my fellow peace advocates, if they can all please stand up and be acknowledged. I offer this recognition to all of them who keep the faith, the faith that it does happen that history, history will be written by the victors, where the victors are those from all sides who did not forsake our humanity but defended it. Most important, I offer this to the many women in their communities often ignored, often sidelined, but now empowered to believe in their own strengths and capabilities in no small way by being part of an ever-growing movement, a sisterhood of peace builders, mediators, negotiators, conflict preventers, and transformers. I said it before, and I will say it again. Sisterhood rocks. <laughs> It rocks. It rocks for peace and justice. Maraming salamat po.